This is a demonstration of Reed's DM3 Mech, mechanical hot tapping machine. The Reed Hot Tap Machine eliminates the need to shut down, drain, cut, refit, and refill piping systems. It also creates branching connections from 3 quarter inch to 4 inch valve sizes on any appropriately sized mainline for most piping materials up to 300 PSI. These accessories are required but not supplied for use with the DM3 Mech. A main branch assembly that will be permanently fixed to the main line, which includes correctly sized saddle or threadlet, branch sized shoulder nipple, and a branch sized full bore gate or ball valve. A boring assembly is also required, which includes one and one quarter inch pipe T or inline T reducer, pipe nipple to match the T valve or hose bib, hose connection for pressure testing the tapping system or for adding a hose to flush chips or filings away, and branch size nipple six inches long and reducers if needed. Operation using a saddle or threadlet. Bolt the saddle fitting or weld a threadlet onto the main line. Select the proper size hole saw and verify that the hole saw clears the branch valve bore adequately. Install the shoulder nipple and branch valve onto the saddle or threadlet. Select the appropriate shaft. For 5 8 inch to 1 and 1 8 inch diameter hole saws, screw directly to the 18 inch shaft, no arbor. For 1 and 3 8 inch to 3 and a quarter inch diameter hole saws, use the arbor on the 24 inch shaft. Install the hole saw to the appropriate shaft. Install the coupon retaining drill bit. The end of the wire must extend past the end of the hole saw to retain the coupon. Align the flats on the bit with the set screw and tighten. Install the shaft gently using a twisting motion while pushing the shaft past the seal on the main body. Tighten the gland nut until snug. Assemble the bleed off tee an appropriate 6 inch nipple. Attach the bleed off tee assembly to the gate valve. It needs to be really tight and sealed. Use a wrench to help. Pull the shaft of the boring assembly as far back as possible and attach to the bleed off T. Pressure test the setup through the bleed off valve. Attach the hose to the bleed off valve for flushing chips to drain if desired. Chuck the drill motor onto the shaft. Caution before use. An outward force on the shaft will occur when used on pressurized systems. This force can be as high as 45 pounds if pressurized at 300 PSI. After the drill bit passes through the wall of the pipe, a relative force must be applied to the end of the shaft until the shaft is in the fully retracted position. Failure to do so may cause damage to the tool or personal injury. Applying too much force while cutting the coupon can result in a sudden breakthrough of the hole saw. One can prevent this by cutting a spacer of 3 quarter inch copper tube long enough to stop the drill bit from hitting the back of the main. Slip this spacer over the exposed shaft between the gland nut and drill chuck. Drill until the pilot drill penetrates the main line. Verify the seals are okay. 
One can hand tighten the gland nut should the fluid leak past the main body at the shaft. Do not over tighten the gland nut. Resume drilling. Use moderate pressure until the hole saw penetrates the main completely. Reduce the pressure on the drill prior to breakthrough. Reducing the pressure before breakthrough reduces the likelihood of the drill bit and hole saw hitting the backside of the main. Pull the drill and shaft back to the limit. Shut the branch valve, open the bleed valve, and then disconnect the boring assembly from the branch valve. Oil the shaft to prevent rusting. The DM3 mech can be used with both flanged and non-flanged pipe. See the mechanical hot tapping machine operator's manual for detailed instructions on each variation. Maintenance. After each use, loosen the gland nut and remove the shaft. Grease the shaft and bearing surface of the main body. If unable to stop the leaks from around the shaft by tightening the gland nut, the gland packing may need to be replaced. Gland repacking instructions. Remove the gland. Replace the shaft in the main body with a gentle twisting motion. Insert the new packing gland in a clockwise direction using a small screwdriver to compress it into the recess. Replace the brass ring. Clean the threads on the gland nut and the main body. Dirt on the threads can damage the gland nut. Reinstall the gland nut. Hand tighten the nut to compress the packing. Make sure to store shafts separate from the hole saws, allowing the hole saw teeth to contact the shaft during transportation and storage can damage the shaft. A damaged shaft can also damage the main body and cause the shaft to seize during use. This concludes the demonstration of the Reed DM3 Mech Mechanical Hot Tapping Machine. For more information, visit www.readmfgco.com.